Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Ford Transit. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2 litre 340 Eco Blue Trend L1 H1 Euro 6 engine. 2021 on a 21 plate. Has done 5,465 miles at the moment, but will have done more because uh, I'm on this ride. It's one registered owner. This vehicle's been converted into a day van, but it's a it's a, a good looking day van. I've got to say, um, transits they, they do make things to to kind of customize them. It's got a deep chin spoiler on. It's got the big grill with Ford and blazoned across it, which I I actually really love. I think it's great. It's uh, it's got a heated screen. It's got front and rear parking sensors. It's got air conditioning too. Cruise control. Apple CarPlay, power folding door mirrors. It, it's a really good spec and, and I've often said it before, it's, it's something I could use every day. They're great to drive, the gearbox is fantastic. Um, I would have to, the, the, the bed at the back, it does rattle a bit. I would have to make some adjustments and, and stick some sponge in, <laughs> otherwise it'd drive me mad. But um, I would imagine anybody who's going to buy this will, will probably be going to convert it to a proper day van or a, a, a camper van or, or whatever. It's got a plug on the side to bring your power in. On the roof, it has a solar panel, a little solar panel. As I say, it, it, it's a really, really good spec. Anyway, I'll, those are the, the, the Ford keys. I'll just take you for a ride in it. Foot's on the clutch, start the car. Got a front centre armrest there for the for the driver. Um, I'll just show you the power folding door mirrors there. There you go, like so. Your electric windows here. It's had the windows put in the side as well, the, the dark uh, privacy glass windows. And these curtains, which draw along, keep all the light out of the back. I would imagine no, you'd probably end up Velcro, putting a curtain across there and Velcroing it, wouldn't you? Um, but, I mean, the, the potential for this, as I say, it looks lovely from the outside. It's got um, not exactly side steps, but side protection bars against rocks or turning into stuff. Um, a good spec. One thing I particularly like about this, this vehicle, or, or most Fords, really, um, and think it should be, I, I think all the manufacturers have gone on about green, being green and repairing stuff and cutting costs and they, they could cut so much production cost now by just doing away with the audio equipment, keep the audio equipment, um, give us a screen and uh, better speakers, that, that would do me fine because as soon as you plug this in, there you go. As soon as you plug this in, A, it's charging it, so your phone's charged all the time, and it's gone to CarPlay. Now, the the Apple sat-nav updates every single day. One of the, the questions I, I get asked most on my uh, YouTube channels is, uh, how do you update the sat-nav? And every year, it, it probably costs you 100 quid at least for a new disc or an, a new a new SD card or a download or whatever to update the your sat nav, um, whereas your, your phone just it just updates all the time on on its own, so it's a heck of a lot more accurate. And and I've often found, John, uh, when we go to pick cars up and and or deliver a car, and I'm following John. John uses his Apple sat nav, and I usually use the the sat nav in <clears throat> whatever car I'm in. And uh, he always seems to get there quicker. He does drive a bit faster than me, but he also gets there quicker than me. So there's a lot to be said for, for just having a screen and, and you know just, just using it as a, a medium to... It looks like we've got a load of walkers today. 
they uh, it's unbelievably windy and they're all parked far too close together for my liking with the do with the doors blowing about it's obviously a rambling club I think I went up there the other day with my mate and I, I can tell you it's uh, there's, there's one of my Oakley gloves up there which I lost which were brand new so if you if anybody finds it it's a grey Oakley glove but it, I tell you what it's hard work getting up there all the way up to the uh, up to the top there but it's a lovely walk great view anyway back to the car or oh, car and back to the van so transits do drive very very nice they're very economical as well and they, they go like the clappers bearing in mind that it's built to kind of carry a load of gear you, or your working stuff and you, you quite often see transit vans with the, the wheels like that because they're, they're overloaded but um, it's a it's a lovely thing to drive it's a great seating position it's comfortable too the heated front screen switch here heated rear screens your Apple CarPlay what if I just click that right Mars bar fingers we'll just wait for Siri to go off I didn't catch that could you try again I didn't throw it cancel there's no one in your contacts name so whose contact info are you looking for cancel no problem I won't this looks like this chap's <laughs> looking for an accident look all that safe on that bike to be fair right we'll try again so that that's obviously one thing I <laughs> touch screens I think a touch screen's good for your your audio and to do away with all the radio equipment that's that's fitted in in cars which is just a waste of time and that you know there's, as I say the sat nav because everybody has a phone these days got everything on the phone and just an interface like this is is brilliant you can use voice prompts with Siri of course whenever I try and do a demonstration up here there's, there's no signal there's no internet or anything it's showing vote 4g at the moment so you can use you can you can tell your phone you don't have to touch anything you can tell your phone what you want to do um, and here we've got audio books we've got it's got Bluetooth hands-free anyway Bluetooth audio streaming so plug it in for this Apple there is I noticed on the internet there is a, a fixture or a fitting that you can um, you can plug into probably the USB again but make it Bluetooth so that you don't have to plug your phone in every time however at least your phone's charged all the time which which it's a good thing when it's plugged in but you would think that they'd make a little cradle or something for you to put your phone in near here and perhaps a little lead anyhow that's for another time so the 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 bed the bed comes down easy enough it's just you just pull a little lever and pull a little lever up and then pull the seat base towards you the bed goes down I've not quite figured out how to put it back up yet and as I say it was rattling a little bit on the way up and I hate rattles um, oh we've got roof bars as well on the top there <laughs> wow that's a loud horn but I'm still going to slow down anyway. Oh, here we go. There we go. Well, fan fancy that. Certain death. <laughs> two cars. Two cars and a load. Oh, and a, and a van now. <laughs> Meeting at certain death corner. No, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hear of it. No, don't. No, don't. Don't worry. No, I'll just I'll I'll back up. Don't worry, it's it's all right. Don't you know? No, uh, no problem. 
<laughs> oh, these these walkers are determined to get knocked over, aren't they? I bet he was at Woodstock. Great engine, loads of torque. Just thudding up this hill. The Ford gearbox, absolutely silky smooth. There's also a mode switch here just there quite well hidden but you click that drive mode normal drive mode eco and as soon as soon as you click eco you feel the life being sucked out of the, the engine get get back in normal drive I don't know I missed it they couldn't make these switches any smaller, could they? So a lo lovely vehicle. That Apple CarPlay mirrors your your phone screen. You can send messages by text, and, and you you can have it read your messages too, uh, which is which is brilliant. No need to take your hands off the steering wheel at all, or touch your phone. I mean, it's just absolutely brilliant. But even even so, it's just Let's go getting the right gear for this hill. And this little bump. I was going to say, the, the you can sit in the back there. Um, of course, it, it converts into like a settee or another bench seat. So technically, with the seat belts in there, you could get six people in here. But <laughs> it it might be a bit crowded at night. <laughs> it's, the bed's double. Double size, I suppose. So, uh, I suppose you could get one kid sleeping on here. I uh, I had to deliver a car to Cherbourg once, and uh, I. I it, it was a car with seats that didn't recline, and I, uh, I had to see, <laughs> I had to sleep sat up all night. God, it was freezing as well. I remember it. I remember it well. I think if I have missed anything, I'm sure I will have done. I'll just check through my list in a second, I think. Pull over. I will try and write everything in the description too. But your cruise control here, you switch on there, that's that switch, and then just press the switch forward or back and then you can uh, decrease your speed like so by knocking down or up like so just miss that pothole there 
that's cancel. Oh, somebody's uh, is, is they don't half drive fast around here with, with trailers on. Pull up over here. Right, what was I going to do? Check my list, that was it. Proper handbrake. Oh, what have I done with my list? Right, so here we go. So, cruise control, heated screen, electric folding mirrors, aircon, parking sensors, colour coded bumpers, tow bar. Another thing I forgot about the tow bar, roof bars, the rear spoiler, integrated rear spoiler, front splitter, alloy wheels, um, black alloy wheels, the conversion, side and rear privacy glass with blackout curtains, 140 watt solar panel, that's on the roof there, vamoose running rails, uh, I'm assuming those are the uh, side bars, 240 volt hookup, um, LED lights in it and oh, I think that says Victron, Victron Smart Charger. Oh, some more stuff here. CTEC Smart Split Charger, two USB ports, internal 240 volt socket, full width rock and roll bed, soundproofed, insulated and carpet lined. So the, those are the things that, that I forgot. <laughs> so I forgot virtually everything. I don't know. I guess I have only been in this job 50 years, so I'm only an apprentice. But your aircon there, and the, the, it's got a tremendous heater. but it will also cool it down as well. The door mirrors, they're electrically adjustable like so. And then you've got the little beveled mirrors at the bottom there, so you can see down. Um, it is, you are quite high up. It is good just to make sure there's nobody in your blind spot or nothing in your blind spot uh, yesterday. I went to get some alloy wheels um, refurbed and I was I was doing a three point turn in my Range Rover or a Range Rover and uh, I nearly ran over a set of alloy wheels that, that, that were just washing outside. Couldn't see them, they're, they're down there and I'm up here. So those, those, are, those are a good idea. I could, I could easily use a van every day. Um, it is the driving position I like. This would be fantastic for me. I, I want to go to um, Aviemore snowboarding and, uh, you know, it, it, all, get all my stuff in. Worst come to the worst, if I couldn't get a hotel, I could always crash in the back of this. But it has only, it's only done 5,000 miles, so. I want, to, I want to keep it nice and low. So lots of spec over and above the uh, normal trend. I 
and certainly I know we, we had a firm who actually converts vans to campers and day vans and they've been on to us asking us if we, we've got any stuff. Vans are increasing in price. The new ones I don't think are being made at the moment. With the chip shortage. So here's your chance to get one that's, I think really all that the hard work's been done um, and, and then you just fit it out how you want. I know we've had a couple with the extending roof and that gives you another double bed above. A bit more headroom. Also with the, the tailgate which folds up and not the barn doors uh, tight back. I've, I've seen a few vehicles with awnings or they sell awnings to, to stick from your tailgate. Gives you lots more room and kind of living room as well. It's like sticking a, a tent on the back there. So what else? Indicators on the left, wipers on the right. Your lights are here. It's got uh, automatic headlights should you wish to set them. Left hand side of the dash is rev counter. Your information display in the center there and uh, speedo on the right. Underneath your information display in the center is your coolant temperature gauge and your fuel gauge. Just flipping through there, showing your average miles per gallon, how far you've traveled, <clears throat> engine on normal operation, digital speedo there. on the road up there. That's instantaneous miles per gallon. There you go in the centre there, and uh, we're just moving that, 216 miles of fuel left, miles per gallon, how many miles we've done, and the digital speedo, and that's your Apple CarPlay of course, down here, we've got a nice cup holder, got two kind of cup holders or stroke flask holders, um, at the side of the dash, two more smaller cup holders there, and then also down in the door pocket, there's a room for another. Your, your three seats. of a bumpy road. I'm just wondering today whether <laughs> I should be touching wood, but I, none of my GoPros have just switched off on their own accord at the moment. No, they're all working. That's a miracle. So anyway, lovely vehicle. Um, as you'd expect for 5,000 miles, like, like brand new and uh, 
I do think it's uh, it's a vehicle that can uh, get you away from home. You can use it as a base. You can go anywhere you want. I want to do the, the North Coast 500, and this would be this would be ideal for that. So I, I don't want to particularly want to stop in any hotels. So uh, nice and economical to these. So that's it. Um, <laughs> lovely vehicle for pulling up at places like this and sitting and whiling away your time. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.